Okay, Assalamualaikum and good day everyone. So, we continue our discussion for the boundary condition part 2 where in, in this video, uh, we will talk or focus on the boundary condition number 1 only where it is a normal component. Okay, now we are going to proceed with the normal component analysis. Okay, uh, take back our structure where we have the boundary here and we have the uh, medium number 1 and medium number 2 here. Okay, so to proceed with this analysis, we are going to consider a Maxwell equation number 1. Okay, Maxwell equation number 1. And I'm going to write it this one eh? equal to rho b. And another one that we have is a closed integration d dot ds equal to q and closed. Okay, these two equation same. The difference is this one is in a point form and this one is in the integral form. To proceed with this analysis, we are using to use this equation since we are familiar with this one. Okay, and this one is also known as the Gauss law. So when we are dealing with the Gauss law, we need to have the boundary, the Gauss boundary, and uh, we need to have the charge okay so here i'm considering this this is my gauss boundary okay where the area of this one is s okay and the height of my cylindrical is h okay and don't forget that we have the uh, E here. Okay, this one is our E2N. And this is our E1N. Okay, this uh, two E that we are going to uh, make analysis. Okay, and another one that we need to assume is that we have a rho s. And here, uh, I assume that this is my rho s. Okay, so, but you don't worry if in the real problem, you don't have the uh, rho s, you can just substitute this rho s in the final equation as zero. So, this rho s will uh, not give any effect to the uh, final answer later on. Because now, what we want to do is to develop a general equation for the normal component. So, now we have the area here. Okay. And we have the rho s here. Okay. Now, we are going to proceed... Uh, with the analysis in the uh, left hand side first okay so I can write here that my close integration d dot ds is equal to the surface one integration with the ds1 where is my s1 okay this is my surface number one okay and this is my surface number two and the bottom part will be my surface number three so i'm going to add with my surface number two where d dot ds2 plus the integration of 
as 3d dot ds3 okay now we will consider only Arial 1 and 3 only. Why? Okay, because our second area is a tangential component. Since the vector is coming out, the coming out from this surface is in this direction. So this will be related to the tangential component. And we want to ignore this one for the normal component analysis. So what we are going to do is we will assume that the H is very, very small. When the H is very, very small, this will cause that S2 is equal to the zero. Okay, now we have the E and the D. So, we will relate these two using this equation. D equal to epsilon naught E. So, from this equation, we know that D and E is in the same direction. So, now we have this one and we know the direction. We will proceed to analyze the surface number 1 and the surface number 3 because these two is related to the normal component. So here what I can write here that the integration of D here will be D1N and the total area after the integration is S. Okay, because this is our S here. Okay, and uh, here we need to take a look at this uh, surface number 3 analysis where the E or the D here is in this direction, upward direction but the DS3 will be in the downward direction okay? because it must be coming out from the cylindrical. So this one will be a negative and this can be right as this one. Okay, now let's continue with the uh, right hand side solution. Okay, where we have the Q enclosed. Okay, when we talk about the enclosed here, we need to know that it must be in the quotient. Okay, so now from here, I can write it as dq. Okay, integration of dq. And now, we know that our dq is rho s ds. Okay, so take a look at the structure where this is the cylindrical and we have the surface charge here. Okay? This one I refer to the previous slide. So, the, the integration area that contain uh, the charge is equal to the S. Where in the previous uh, slide, this is our S. Okay? So, this is our S in the previous um, slide. So, I can say that the integration uh, of the area here is equal to this one. Thus, I can write this okay, equal to rho s s. Okay, from here, we can have the final equation as d1n minus d2 and okay, this one we have s equal to rho s s. Okay, so 
from here, we simplify the equation. What we have is d1n minus d2n is equal to the rho s. And this is the final equation of the boundary condition number 1 of normal component. So, that's all for this video. Thank you.